Okay, so a question that I get asked the most, in person at least, is how do I save storage on my iPhone? It's always running out. It's always giving that stupid pop-up that says storage almost full. Well today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks to help you reduce that file size in your iPhone's hard drive so you can clear up more space for more photos, more apps, and things like that. Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek. I'm here to help you understand your everyday tech one video at a time. Now just before we get started, I just want to let you know that these solutions are not permanent because as you use your phone, your phone is going to collect more data as you go, especially if you don't want to delete anything off your phone. You will have to find some other place to put it, and I'll have some suggestions for that towards the end of the video. Now first things first, I do want to let you know that I am running iOS 12.3.1. Depending on when you're watching this in the future, you might have a different version. And these settings might be in a different location. And that actually ties into my first tip, is to update your phone. Go into settings, go into general, go to software update. A lot of times this update process will clear out some cache and give you back some of the storage that the current version of iOS is taking up, especially as Apple has been improving iOS 12. They've been shrinking down the file sizes so you can get more from your phone. All right, for my second tip is gonna be inside of the settings app. Go to general and scroll down to a uh, dictionary and in here you'll be able to see different dictionaries that you have selected go ahead and uncheck the ones that you're not using because if you do have them checked you can see that there's like a little download circle and it just downloads and a lot of times if you don't use it having you take up that extra storage is just not useful at all so i would just uncheck the ones you don't use all right next up let's go ahead and head into the iphone storage tab still inside of settings general and in here you're going to be able to see all the different things that are taking up space on your phone now depending on how much stuff you have and what capacity your uh, phone's hard drive is this might take a while to load so just give it a minute i know sometimes uh, you'll see a huge block of other in here apple has done a pretty good job of clearing that other up you just got to give it a few minutes to scan what all that stuff is but if you still have a massive other block, you can come here and scroll all the way down until you see the system tab right here. And this is going to be what that other stuff is. And this can kind of be anything, whether it be from just system files like dictionaries to Siri voices or just unsorted app files. Five to 10 gigabytes is normal. Anything over that, you might want to follow some of these steps to clear out that storage. Now, if you have a lot of photos and apps and games, this is where you're going to be able to see most of that. And the first tip that I want to share with you in here is something quite obvious. And that's just to delete the stuff you don't use. And in iOS 12, it'll tell you when you last used a certain application. So if you see any apps that says last used, never, you might want to consider deleting that. Now, the next tip actually ties along with this is to purge applications. Now, Apple doesn't make this very easy, so you'll have to do this manually. Basically, what this means is that if you have an application that's like a social media app or a messaging services app, you can see that documents and data can take up a ton of room if you send messages and pictures, videos within that app. Because all of that is sent over the server to the other person, yes, but it's also stored locally on your phone as a copy. This is especially true for things like Facebook or Instagram that uses a lot of images. The more you use the app, the more documents you have. To purge these applications, what you want to do is click on the app, delete it entirely, and then go back into the App Store and re-download it. So this will just download a fresh version from the App Store and you'll be able to clear out all the junk that has accumulated over time. Of course, with online apps like this, you're not actually gonna lose anything. Just log back into your account and you still have everything still there. Some applications will have that function built in. So like, for example, Twitter, uh, you can just come in here and hit data usage in the settings media storage it's using about 140 megabytes of stuff for photos and gifts and stuff like that i'm just going to clear that and bang i just saved a bunch of storage so definitely be sure to check your apps to see if they have that option installed if not you'll just have to purge them now obviously this doesn't apply to every single app out there some apps will have app sizes that are larger than your documents and data and if it's like microsoft word or something you might not want to delete that documents and data now in that case i would suggest offloading the application if you don't use it that often what this is going to do is delete the app 
files without deleting the documents and data is going to keep the documents and what this is going to do when you go back to the app is going to add a little cloud icon next to the uh, word word <laughs> so that if you want to use it again just tap on it and it will re-download automatically while saving everything that you've done within that app this could be great for games if you want to save your progress while still minimizing some of that space because you may not use that app all the time all right next up go to settings siri and search and in here you want to manage the voices you have for siri if you have any voices that are not the default voices, they're going to be taking up extra room on your device. So I recommend using the default or maybe just not using Siri at all. I don't know if that deletes it or not. If you want to see what voices you have, you can go back to general accessibility voiceover and hit speech and then go to voice. And in here, you'll be able to see all the available voices for Siri and voiceover. Now, for the most part, you shouldn't really have anything in here. In case you do, just flip around, check these voices. If you have any of these downloaded, maybe consider removing them. I believe it requires at least one Siri voice, so just stick to one, maybe the default for the best results. All right, next up, let's go ahead and talk about email because emails do take up space. If you hit an email, all these images are just gonna load in. Now, of course, this might work a little differently if you use an email client from the app store like Gmail or Outlook. But if you are using the default mail app, there is another option here inside of settings and scroll down to mail. In here, there's an option for load remote images. If you turn this off, it will no longer automatically load images as you get the email. So if I went back to this, you guys can see this one's already downloaded, but if I get any new ones, like say this YouTube email, it will not load in any sort of images associated with this email. Whereas if you had this option turned on and you came back here, you would see that the YouTube logo and the avatar are images that do download to your device. All right, next up, let's talk about Safari. Now Safari will save a bunch of data as you are using it. So go ahead and go into settings, scroll down to Safari, scroll all the way down to advanced website data. And depending on how often you use this, you might get quite a bit of data in here. As you guys can see here, I have over 300 megabytes just in Safari. And this is this is just website cache from websites that you visit that will automatically repopulate when you revisit the site again. However, if you are desperate for more storage, I would recommend removing this. You may have to re-log into some websites, but that's really not a big deal. You can also use the clear history and website data button on the main Safari page. That will do essentially the same thing. Now next up is something that's a bit more precious to some of you out there, and that's your text messages inside of your iMessage application. Now personally, mine, I'm not really using a whole lot because I've been clearing out my messages as I go, but inside of the settings, you can hit the review large attachments button to see what files are taking up how much space. And depending on how much you use it, you might wanna come in here and erase some of these old text combos. Now remember, if you wanna save something from an individual conversation, just hit this name up here, hit info, and you'll be able to see some of the images that you've sent in the chat, whether it be memes or GIFs or whatever. If you wanna save them, just hold down on them, hit more, tap the ones you wanna save, and hit save images. That will go ahead and save it to your camera roll. So if there is something that you want to save, do this and then clear out the ones inside of the iMessage app. I will say that once you delete these, you are not getting them back. There is no recently deleted tab for messages. So make sure you delete only the stuff that you can afford to delete. Now, if you're one of those that don't really care that much about your text messages, you just send junk to people or you always get junk from other people. Inside of the messages settings here inside of the settings app, there is an auto delete option. I believe this is actually turned on by default inside the keep messages tab. You can select it to keep for 30 days or a year or forever. I like to do mine manually, but if you don't want to worry about this, just select one of the automatic options. Same thing with audio messages. You can set them to automatically expire after two minutes. And if you're really crunched on space, you might want to turn on low quality image mode. This will send images and stuff in a lower quality so they don't take up quite as much room. All right, next up, let's talk about something that none of you want to delete and yet you want to take more of, and that's your photos. Because everybody likes photos and videos on their phone. If you don't use iCloud photos, they're all gonna be on your phone locally, taking up a ton of room, especially any videos you have. We'll get to that in a second, but in here, I have some memes and wallpapers that I don't really need, so I'm just gonna hit select. 
and select these. You can also swipe across to delete them. Now, if you go back to the main page here, be sure you clear out the recently deleted because I have seen people try to clear out their photo library to clean it up a little and they have like thousands in the recently deleted tab because they just forget to sort these out. Once you delete your photos, don't forget to clear out the recently deleted if you want that extra room back, especially with videos. If you want to know how much room your videos are taking up, go into settings, scroll all the way down here to camera and you'll be able to see the different video settings available for your device. My iPhone is the iPhone 10, so I can record video at 4K up to 60 frames per second, but one minute of this footage will take up 400 megabytes, whereas 30 frames per second is less than half of that, and 1080p at 60 is less than a quarter of that. So definitely be smart with your video options. If you're just sending quick clips to your family or friends, you really don't need 4K at 60. That's a, that's a bit overkill. And same goes for slow motion footage. And if you do take HDRs, or if you have one of the newer iPhones with the smart HDR feature, make sure keep normal photo is turned off. That way when you do end up taking an HDR photo, it's not saving a duplicate of the non-HDR version, therefore taking up twice the amount of room. Now if we go back to the main settings pane, go to photos, and in here you can turn on iCloud photos. I personally have the 50 gig uh, iCloud storage plan, I think it's like a dollar a month or something like that. If you choose to buy into the plan, you can go ahead and hit optimize iPhone storage. This will just keep all your uh, photos in the cloud, and if you want to look at them, once you tap on them, it will download to your device. Personally, I have the download and keep originals option turned on because I just like keeping stuff locally for when I don't have internet. And also, if you have photo stream or shared albums turned on by default and you have no idea what that is, if you don't use it, just turn it off. It probably is wasting your storage space. All right, the next one is a bit small, but if you have any voicemails, uh, you might want to delete them because if you have a ton of voicemails or you have junk voicemails, they're not much, but they're something. So get rid of old voicemails. All right, so I think that's pretty much all the on-device tips that I can possibly share with you. I know that was a lot. If you ever need to revisit these tips, definitely save this video or something. Add it to your uh, liked playlist. <clears throat> but like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if a lot of the stuff in here was things that you did not want to delete from your device, there are some alternatives that I want to mention. For example, uh, Google Drive is a really good solution iCloud is a really good solution if you just want to upload stuff to a cloud location, especially services like Google Photos. Many of you probably already use that. However, if you don't want to save them to a cloud service, you don't feel safe with your stuff on the internet everywhere, I totally understand. However, if you do want to save it to a local storage location, for example, like maybe an external hard drive, that's a whole other process altogether. So if you guys want to learn about how to do this, uh, definitely leave a comment down below. It'll probably have to be in another video. This one is already super long as it is. So if you are interested in that, again, uh, comment down below, hit that like button so I know you guys want to see that. And if you made it all the way here in the video, Thank you so much. You are totally awesome. That is quite an achievement. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.